All right, this is gonna be another Pinterest uh, update. As you can see on the screen, we finally hit over 100,000 monthly views on the Pinterest account. This is exciting because um, this part, it actually went from like 95,000 to 110 pretty quickly um, over the last week. Um, and we're steadily getting followers, which is cool as well. Uh, but we finally started getting our pins uh, that we kind of changed some things that we're doing, right? We're actually doing a lot more of the listicle type of articles um, based on following other people that are successful on Pinterest. They do say that, uh, you know, the text based, um, you guys are always asking, hey, uh, what gets the most clicks, uh, the best click through rate on Pinterest, and then also even further where people want to actually click on it to go and read the article on your website. Um, and it's going to be these types right over here. So the 12, uh, 12 delicious keto cake alternatives to make any birthday sweet, 12 mind blowing keto birthday cake ideas. Um, and you can just see right over here. So we have a mixture of, you know, just these regular AI type images right over here. Um, and then we have a lot more of these that are starting to hit the uh, account. Uh, Transform your keto game, 15 Mediterranean recipes to try out, 15 keto Mediterranean. Remember each post, we create five pins to promote that URL. And you can see that as soon as these drop, I don't know if you go and watch some of my other videos, um, I usually don't get views on these pins right away. They usually take a while to start getting some impressions, but these are actually impressions as soon as they drop, like these must have dropped. Uh, these are dropping literally today. I don't know if we actually click on it, if it'll actually tell you when it dropped, but this is, this means that this is literally dropped, uh, this morning it's, and it's already getting impressions. Okay. So, um, this is, um, seems to be working right away. Um, we're starting to get a lot more kind of activity on the account because we've, we're starting to post a lot more of these listicles. So that's one thing, one tip that I'd give you is try to, you know, this is Pinterest is going to work well with text-based uh, kind of pins that you create. And then also a listicle type pins where you're telling somebody that they're going to get this many of something. They just, it's just uh, marketing. It's just straight up worked. It's worked for decades for magazines and so forth. And you just want to do what's working. Right. Um, and so we can go and look at some of the stats right over here. We'll go into analytics overview. It's not very many people that are actually showing you the real stuff, the the actual stats and the accounts. So hopefully you guys, uh, if you want to learn more about this, I'll be sharing what I can with you. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Um, but most people are not sharing you know, with you. This is kind of like a case study. I'm going to be starting my new site um, over the next week. It's actually going to be a product-based site where um, there's probably going to be a little bit more like affiliate marketing type stuff. This uh, particular site right over here, uh, if we go in and actually look, um, this site right over here, I'm going to go over to, let's just go to the blog. Uh, want to stay ahead of the AI and software curve without drowning in information? Join the LearnWire newsletter. Twice per month, I'll send you my curated insights on the best software tools and AI developments that actually matter for your online business. No fluff, just actionable insights from my in-depth reviews and testing. Sign up now to get the inside scoop on what's worth your time and money. Uh, section over here. This is going to be more for advertising, right? We're going to try to get approved on um, on Mediavine at some point. Um, we'll probably start with Media, I, I believe it's Journey, something like that, where we can start making some money with the site. And then if it ends up getting tens of thousands of views or up to like 40 or 50,000, then of course we would get full Mediavine on here and the site could actually start making a couple thousand dollars per month. Um, but this one is going to be more suited probably towards not necessarily if an affiliate site, um, I'm going to kind of go with the lazy way. I think uh, an affiliate site is actually a lot more work, affiliate links, a lot more management. Um, if you just build a site like this, like a recipe type site, and you uh, just put ads on it, um, and you can make 500 bucks, a thousand bucks from a site, then it may, it's just a nice, easy kind of lazy method of making money with your, your niche website, right? So um, that's what we're going to be doing right over here. So I'm going to tell you a couple of things that we've done on the updates on this process of what we've done with the site. But let's go back over. Actually, before we do that, if you've made it this far in the video, I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you what is coming up down the pipeline next week, starting on Monday. 
Um, I have some, let's see, what we want to review next week. So I believe I'm going to review Lazy Bird. And it actually interests me because um, I have another process, uh, one of the things in my business, where we do need a decent AI voiceover. I don't really want to pay 30 bucks a month for 11 Labs because it's just something I don't want to commit to. I've already done that. And then I end up forgetting that I... Um, and paying for the tool. And then I end up paying for it for like six months and I haven't used it in five months. Right. So, uh, it's one of those things where this is a, another one of those advantages of, if you can pick up a good, solid, natural sounding, um, voiceover tool, AI voiceover tool, then that would probably be a really good lifetime deal by, um, and so that's why, um, you know, I'm selfishly reviewing this for myself as well. So I'll be bringing that next week to the table. Um, and then also, um, I'm interested in this one as well because I'm actually developing a, um, a SaaS software right now. And so this would be pretty cool to get some insights on your, your, your startup and so forth. So this uh, startup.com looks really cool. So I'm going to be reviewing that as well. So that's what's coming down uh, uh, next week for sure. I can tell you at least about those two. Okay. So let's go back into the Pinterest thing. So we're over here in Pinterest and you can see over the last 30 days, all the metrics look really good. You know, when you want to look at this stuff from a 30 day standpoint, a 90 day standpoint. If we come over here and we look at the last seven days, um, it's, you know, it's, it, it, we, we had a, a little bit down trajectory of a week right over here, but we're just barely on impressions uh, down 1.1%. So that's not really a big deal. It's basically staying the same right there. Um, and so I'm okay with looking at these numbers. They actually, um, you know, over the last seven days, about maybe three or four days ago, they actually were a little bit worse, but that is what's going to end up happening, right? Cause when you come over here and you look at the 90 days, this is actually what you want to look at, right? Like is, uh, did we grow the account to a certain level right here? Yes. And we kind of hovered over here and then we had major growth up to here, right? And then it kind of came down and then it's settling right around in here. Okay. Then it came down right here. You're going to have these peaks and valleys and that's just, just normal. You right, you have different waves, right? A wave goes down and it goes up and it goes down and it goes up. But when you look at the overall <clears throat> trend has the account grown absolutely to over a hundred thousand impressions, um, almost 3000 clicks per month. And then you can see right over here, just this little uptick, right? Boom. And we're going to be heading back up again. So you come over here and you start looking over the last 90 days, 4.4 thousand clicks. I've never built a niche website on Google, I believe, and uh, gotten this many clicks this fast. Um, so it's pretty dang cool. Uh, we can go back and look at just the, like the last 30 days. We are almost hitting the 3000 clicks per month level um, impressions will go up. So obviously we want to get this to a million, right? So if we can get this to a million, we're going to be getting, what is that? About 20,000 clicks per month. That's enough to make a few hundred dollars per month. Uh, probably about, I would estimate even with, uh, uh, what is it? Mid journey, not mid journey, uh, media vine journey. So with media vine journey, I don't know why they had to you know, title it that because there's another tool called mid journey. Uh, so that's, and they're both start with an M and, you know, <laughs> um, get kind of, kind of confused there, but, uh, media vine, they have a, like two layers, right. To get the full media vine, you have to have like 50,000 sessions per month, but they do allow people that are getting l uh, less traffic to join. So I'm going to try to do that. There's some steps I'm going to go over, um, what I believe that we have to do in order to get approved for the, uh, media, Okay, so Journey uh, by Media Vine. Okay, so this is the one that we're gonna try to get started with. Um, and this is for from creating content to building online communities. Journey by Media Vine is the first step towards a sustainable future income. So this is uh, really neat because they're allowing you to, um, to start getting uh, some money with your site, uh, which can help with the longevity of like in keeping you motivated, like, oh, wow, I made, you know, 10 bucks today, I made 20 bucks, uh, in order to get to that next level, where you'll actually start making, you know, you could be making 100 or more dollars per day once you get to the real thing. So I, I do like that they've layered this, they've given to the, you know, beginner sites that are getting some traffic, uh, a chance to make some money, uh, which is really cool. Um, and so it, it, this part right over here says simply install grow by Mediavine and run it for a minimum of 30 days. The sooner you get started, the better. Uh, we'll measure your traffic and then reach out. Cause so this is basically like, I like, I actually like this. I mean, some people don't like having third party tools installed on their site and all that stuff. But, um, I gotta be honest with you. I, I don't like Google right now. I don't like Google analytics. I don't like, um, I just don't like the way that Google has handled their, um, brand and their, uh, search engine and all that stuff uh, over the last, um, several years actually. And so, 
And I just think that they've misled people, right? Like saying, oh, you can put AI content, but then AI content, uh, uh, they literally have a department where it's been leaked that they literally do actually um, handle and manage AI content and you most likely get punished for having AI content. So, um, you know, that's just a whole nother topic. But what I like about this is that they're not telling you, they're, they're, they're basically going to be using Grow in order to measure your results, not Google Analytics. And I love that. I actually love that they're gonna use their own tool to measure their own analytics and trust their own data and not trust what Google Analytics is saying. Now, yes, I have gone and installed two days ago because I just don't wanna miss out if I wanna end up going to uh, Thrive Network or you know some of the other ones at some point. Most of the tools that you would um, or you know, advertising companies that you would want to go and apply to, they're probably going to be using a Google Analytics type metric to measure um, active users and sessions and um, events, basically page views. Um, so I did install it, but I'm not gonna be checking with this um, every day because you guys know that I actually like to use this uh, new tool I've been using for months and I've got an unlimited plan so I can install it on every site that I create and start measuring traffic immediately. And I just want to see where the traffic's coming from, um, what pages are getting the most views. That's literally all I care about. And so this tool right here, Analytics WP, there is a link below. Um, super, a lot of you have picked it up already. I really like it, it's simple. And you know what, even just to get this data when you in, go to, um, you know, WordPress plugins and you install any of the other analytics type uh, pl plugins, they all cost money. They're all premium. And so this one is is, uh, is different. I mean, this one's no different. It does cost money, but you can get an unlimited plan, install it on 200 websites if you want, 300 websites, and it's doing its own tracking, right? We're measuring and we're tracking and we can come over here and see where the traffic's coming from, mostly all Pinterest, right? We're actually getting some from other, from Yandex, we're getting visitors now. We're getting visitors from Bing. Uh, we're getting uh, visitors from DuckDuckGo, um, and we're getting visitors from Google. I don't know why, how we're getting uh, traffic from Google, but we are. Uh, I don't know what this one is right here, but um, but there's the traffic source. Here's your most popular pages on the site. Um, again, you can actually cl click in here and go further and really start looking and honing in on all this different, all these pages and stuff like that. Good, um, you know, copy. Um, it'd be cool if they'd add a little, I, I just love little things like a little copy tool right here. We can copy this and if we wanted to copy that data. And then most people are on mobile, then desktop, then tablet. Um, so I, I just like the simplicity and it just straight up works. It's very lightweight and it's running in the background. And I can come over here and I can look at page views from December 1st to yesterday, right? And so you can see page views up, unique, peop uh, uh, unique people um, right here. And you have the pages per visit. So about 1.67, about one, one and a half. So we're not quite at two. It would be nice to get to two pages per visit. But this is the data that um, I'm measuring right over here. And then you can see right over here down here, we have installed Grow on the site. You will you will have to go and log in, kind of create an account, connect your site. Um, you've probably done that before with a lot of other applications. But that is the tool that they're going to be tracking now. So this the Grow actually will be looking at the site Um and measuring its own data. So now we have three traffic things. We can measure, we're measuring it from here, we're measuring it from Google Analytics, and we're measuring it from Grow. I just figured that I was setting up Grow, I may as well set up Google Analytics uh, because you wanna cover your basis. So when you do go to apply for a, a network like um, you know, a Journey by Mediavine or um, the the real thing, maybe by to graduate to the full Mediavine, maybe they also want Google Analytics installed as well, right? So, and those are things that they're gonna want. They might need six months of data, right? So we might be six months away from that. So you, you want to cover your tracks, at least have it just installed, um, if that makes sense. So at the end of the day, we've got traffic coming to our site, right? We're growing. And you can see right over here, we are growing on the account. Obviously, I'll keep you guys posted. We What we want to do is get this up to a million monthly sessions right here. And then that's when the site will be getting, you know, 15 to 20 clicks, um, 15 to 20,000 clicks per month. And that's when you can actually do something and actually start making some money. So that's it for this update. We did hit the over 100,000 um, views per month. Followers continue to go up. 
the point of this one is uh, we're preparing for media um, media vine journey. And so in 30 days, I'll be able to apply. I think that from what I'm hearing, they are accepting right now. Um, I, I believe that they want the threshold to be like 10,000 uh, page views per month. I don't know if they actually say it on their site, but um, there's so many people that are sharing that they're actually letting people in. If you can share, show where, what the source is, Pinterest is, a, is considered a really strong source of traffic. Um, and they actually like Pinterest type traffic um, because um, it is more sustainable. There's more of a chance that your site is not going to just shut down overnight. Um, and that happens all the time with Google traffic, right? And so it's actually less risky. Um, that's what I'm, what I'm really, really loving about this Pinterest uh, niche website uh, business um, right now that we're kind of getting into. Um, but I don't see where it says how many sessions you get uh, right over here. Um, but what I'm hearing is, is that as long as you have at least a thousand or more um, uh, sessions or page views per, I don't know if it's sessions or page views, um, but per month, um, then, and you installed the grow, um, app on your, uh, site, you have a probable, probably a pretty good chance of getting approved. Definitely. If you have like two or 3000, um, clicks per month, you're probably going to get approved, uh, right now at the time of recording this video. Anyways, that might change the more customers they get, then they'll get a little bit more strict, obviously. Um, important, like when, when you uh, put this on your site, it will install this right over here. So we actually go to our site. Uh, you can see that we have this now on our site. This is part of the tracking, but someone can share this. They can actually bookmark it. Um, they can also go in here, go into their account. They can share it on Pinterest, Facebook, um, and so forth. So it's really just adding kind of like a social analytics, uh, a show, a social button, a bookmarking type tool, and then also it's measuring analytics. So um, that's it for the updates. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Follow along with me. Make sure to subscribe. I'll keep you guys posted on this project. This is a, a lot more fun, a lot, le way, way less stressful than going out there and trying to rank on Google because we all know how that goes, right? Um, so make sure to subscribe because I'm actually going to record another tutorial right after this one. That's actually going to go into, um, how I'm going to start creating some even more, um, advanced and unique, like infographic type pins, um, and kind of doing this myself. I could, um, get my virtual assistant to do this as well, but I think I'm just going to kind of mess around with this a little bit, see if I can get some results from the tool, uh, before I actually hand it off to like my virtual assistant. So make sure to tune into the next video. I'll see you guys next time.